Glad to have you join us again. It's still Business Breakfast on Nigerian Television. Charles Frakuha, Business and poly, poly, Public Affairs Analyst, joins me now live via phone to do some analysis of some of the top stories we're filing for you at this time. Charles, good morning. It's a pleasure having you join me on the show from the other side. Thank you very much for having me. Blessed. Let's get talking now. There seemed to be a dramatic move by the Central Bank of Nigeria Monetary Policy Committee yesterday when they increased the monetary policy rate by 400 basis points to 22.75%. Charles, I'd like to ask you two questions in one now. First, did you see this coming? And secondly, what would be the ripple effect of this on the economy? Yeah, my second question, what ripple effects will this development have on the economy? Yes, the effect is already there in the economy. Even at 18.75%, uh, 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 we could still see SMEs closing shop. We could still see a lot of businesses not doing so well. We could still see because inflation is still where above the average Nigeria. We could still see that we were not able to produce it. So the effect is only just going to increase. Now, monetary, we have always said that is the that is the best monetary policy can do. There has to be a synergy between the monetary policy and fiscal policy. The CBN monetary policy will not on its own solve our economic problem. They will take care of price stability, take care of interest rate, and that's what we have just done. Looking at the circumstances that is on ground. And for me, I don't really see anything better. You see the kind of at this instant now. So the economy will still be what it is. It's necessary to continue to go uh, as long as you are not matching with fiscal policy. It is not enough for government to just keep talking and talking. We want to see action. You know, we want to see even this action from the government side. Ease of doing business so that more people can produce and we export. So it is a whole gamut of trying to redeem the economy. We need to go back to production. We need to see that people are producing, government needs to reduce their expenditure. We just need to do it and see those areas where we have comparative advantage and see how we can give more attention to those areas so that we can export more of this product and begin to earn a lot of money. If not, monetary policy will, will change all they want to change, interest rates, PRR, uh, liquidity ratio and all that. That in itself will not in any way solve the current problem in the economy. Now, let me quickly touch on the, um, the CRR that you did make mention about. The CBN MPC actually increased it by 45% with the hope to mop up um, excess Naira liquidity um, outside the, the vault of the, of the bank. Did you see this really attainable within the short period of time? Yes, if CBN has the data that there is excess 
uh, liquidity in the market, like excess uh, money supply in the market. Yes. Yes, that's one way to see that. Yes, using the the CD and the commercial bank to say, okay, we will reduce the amount of money you have to be given to the that is the cash reserve ratio. Increasing it, for me, it is still not going to make because the banks are not even lending uh, lending to the real sector even at that thirty two point five percent. So now what it means now is for every hundred naira that the bank has, the bank can only loan or give out fifty five naira. Like I said, thereby reducing the cash in circulation. Yes, again it's a monetary policy so to see how you can reduce money supply in the economy at the same time Believing that when you reduce money supply, that will also reduce inflation. But the type of inflation we are having today, it is not as a result of too much money chasing fuel and goods. It's a result of cost, it is cost push inflation. Nigeria doesn't even have money. Each year they say because of that way it's are made, about 30 trillion, that money is in the hands of just few Nigerians. It did not circulate as if they are expecting us. To believe. So, yes, they want to see that extra liquidity in the system is more up by doing using that too. But the day our inflation is as a result of inputs, which is cost push inflation. Let's also touch briefly on, on um, before we move away from this particular story now on the need for the CBN to, 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 to address critical issues in the country. Now with um, an hike in the um, NPR by 400 basis points now, I'm looking at um, if this particular move actually suits the, the, the reforms and the, and the, and the trajectory, the, the physical authorities also moving in, in tell them to res bring about some kind of um, 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 restoration to the um, Nigeria's economy. What do you have to say concerning this? Well, again, you must look at the economy holistically. You know, yes, I wouldn't say trial and error is what the evaluation is doing, but if you look at it, the problem for any economic manager or economic manager is how to control interest rates, how to control inflation rates, then of course the exchange rate. These three rates are critical in any economy. And we have been told that there is a relationship. If you manipulate one or you treat with one, it's going to affect the other one. So it has to be a holistic approach when you are looking at some of you want to do concerning the economy. And that is why we have always said that the fiscal environment has to be in line. They have to do their own part. Monetary, yes, to some extent, we have all said that will give us some bit of stability in terms of pricing. But when it comes to the real economy. The fiscal policy has to do its own part. Fiscal, of course, the government, part of government, spending of government, making uh, the, the, the business environment friendly. These are all part of the fiscal committee, uh, fiscal uh, environment that the government has to play that part. Depending, I don't believe in that uh, Kadoto and the the fund magic is not going to work. Charles, you agree with me that the president during the electionary period did make mention of the fact that he is not a supporter of interest rate hike. And then again, is looking at the situation whereby interest rates can actually come down so that business, so, so that it can have, um, support business operation and also bring about some sense of ease of doing business in Nigeria. Yemi, let, um, Yemi Kadoso let CBN was appointed by President Paul Ahmed Tinubu. Do you see a kind of, um, 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 for the lack of a better word now, do you see a kind of relationship between what the president wants and what the, um, the CBN is doing? Okay, I, I know you. I also saw that conflict there and there. Good. Then again, the economy is the economy. Mm. Monetary policy is monetary policy. So, the Cardoso, the Yannick Cardoso led CBN and his team are looking at it from their own point of view. The, the president and his own team are also looking at it from their own point of view, the fiscal point of view. Now, Yannick and Cardoso and look at everything. You can't have interest rate, uh, I mean, inflation rate at almost 30%, and you're talking about the MPRO at less than 20%. So, he has to do a balance, and that is why he took that uh, measure. 
Of course, we also have that interest of bringing down interest rate. So believe me that with this kind of hawkish approach towards uh, MDR and inflation, that inflation rate might likely come down at least to rebalance, not coming down to that uh, 22.5%. They could say that, okay, if the MDR is already 22.5%, and we're talking about the greater to be almost 30%, then the difference is not there. People can still want to come and invest in the country. Believing that with the NPRO at this, the inflation rate and the NPRO rate, the, the difference is not that much. Okay, then that means the economy is improving. That is the logic of being hawkish in terms of increasing your NPRO as against your inflation rate. However, like you have said, the government has a different approach by saying that we then need to stimulate the economy. We cannot run away from that. We need to go back to production. We need to create an enabling environment for businesses to strive. And like I said, one is to ensure that cost of funds is reduced. But with this increase in every arrow, you can see that immediately you are increasing cost of funds. So there is already a conflict between what the government wants and what CDA is doing. So and that is why they need to really come together, look at it critically, and see how they can create a balance. It's all about balancing. There's no right or wrong answer in this issue now. The economy has to be looked in the holistic form.